There it is. We've hit it now. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome to... Yeah, you can't even be back. We haven't even done one episode yet. Well, we've done about four, but they all suck. So. Oh, my God. So, uh, well, hang on. Welcome to Potty Magic, the uh, official podcast of Body Magic yes. and John Van Damme. Yes, 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 yes. But, yeah, this is our fourth go doing this now because we... Well, we bought this... I bought all this gear a few weeks ago. Yep. yep. We thought, all right, let's do this. We sat down yesterday to have our first little crack at doing it. Yeah, terrible. And it no good. Sucked. <laughs> and then Jared's gone, oh, look, come over first thing in the morning and we'll redo it. Um, so we're almost done. Computer shuts down. Oh, we literally Deletes have we've, everything. We've almost done the whole thing. We've gone great. Very happy with it. Deleted the whole thing. Uh, so, so take four. But uh, anyway, but yeah. Take yeah. four, episode one. So, But yesterday, it was, it was not good content. No, it, it was not, not It was good. a little bit rusty, right? Yeah, it was so a bit. It wasn't any good. It was more just us just ripping on each other. Ex-girlfriend so, caught up. <laughs> yeah, like, it was just no good, good stories. No, we couldn't good. do that. Couldn't do that. Anyway, so uh, we're back. We've got some uh, regular segments that we're hoping to do on the podcast together. Yep. So I'm going to be doing this as well with some... A-list, pure 100%. Yeah, they are, you, you've let me know. They are oh, A-grade. Oh, but when you think about celebs. A-grade, mm. they are it. They like, are, it. They are literally it. Perth celebs, where they're up Oh, there. and even interstate celebs. Oh, like, yeah. It's going to be it's great. It's huge. It's huge. It really is. So it's going to be great. But, uh, but our show is going to be just like little segments, a little bit of fun stuff. We're going to tell yep. some stories. Um, we obviously have known each other for quite a long time, so we've got lots of, got lots of dirt on each other. Lots of um, dirt. We love to, to stitch each other up with stuff as well. We do, we so, do. So uh, it's going to be it's going to be good fun. But a um, massive shout out to uh, Milan. Milan, his Milan. name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. Milan. Yeah. Milan, yeah. Uh, who uh, messaged me on Insta when I sort of put up that I'd bought all this gear, going, starting a podcast. He went, surely it's going to be called Potty Magic. And I went, that is genius, Milan. Genius. Well, it's more of a surprise that me and you both didn't come up with that. Honestly. Because it's there. Just change the B to a P. Yeah. To a P. Unreal. Yeah. Anyways, anyway, yeah, thanks, Milan. Thank you very much, Milan. Uh, much appreciated. If, and if you're listening, I can't remember what your Insta username was, but hit me up and I'll send you a shirt out as well. I've got all this new merch that I'm about to bring out as well. Plug for Body Magic merch. And also plug for Gifted for Apparel. Um, they're coming out too, so just <laughs> stay tuned for that. Gifted Apparel. <laughs> Gifted Apparel. We're actually, so and I'm, I'm sure everybody that watches the story knows that I love Masters, right? And I'm, I'm getting spon- loosely sponsored. I get delivered free milks, right, from Masters uh, each week. I've been drinking them for years. And flavoured milk, him, right? I said to him, yeah, flavoured. Oh, no, the, the iced coffees, yeah. Show, show them to the camera. Show them, Literally, man. it's I'll 99% free. fat-free. Yeah. There's no added sugar. It's high in protein. We're good not even sponsored calcium, by them yet. But do you know what? It tastes the exact same. Oh, I've been trying to tell everyone for years, bro. It's the secret. It really does taste the same. The secret to I'd success is in one of those light brown coloured cartons. Seriously, no, honestly, they are that good. They are really good. So um, we are no way endorsed or anything, but no, we really do believe in this. But I did I did actually ask Masters. I said, hey, I'm doing this podcast. Yep. Can, are you interested in sponsoring? They're like, oh, we're going to have to see some episodes first. So... Well, look, we're, first we're five, minutes in, five and minutes in, and we're already giving you a plug, all right? So make sure, um, that, just write that down in the book. Um, write that down. Yeah. Cha-ching. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Masters. <laughs> anyway, like we said, we're going to do some sort of little regular segments and uh, bits and pieces. And, see um, what sticks. See what, what you see guys what like. And yeah, we, we'd love for you guys to obviously contribute and be part of all the stuff as well. 100%, yeah. Um, and uh, as we do this over the next few weeks in a little while. Cool. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Talk to footy. So... About that time. What are you trying to break everybody's eardrums? What are you doing? Well, sorry. Honestly. It's too loud. You're too old. <laughs> uh, but uh, footy is a massive part of both of our weekends, yes, I guess. Yes, 100%. So we play yep. footy together. We did. Uh, we watch a lot of footy together. We go to yep. the footy together. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's a big part of it. We're right it's in. It's massive, it. yeah. So um, I guess we, we'll probably be talking some football over the next couple of podcasts, yes, I imagine. So you go yep. for... Essendon. Essendon. Yes. Oh, now he oh, wants to put it on. Yeah, we okay, get we it. Go. Oh, see, that's how a professional does it, see? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're an Essendon And, uh, yes, I'm an Essendon fan. Uh, and how'd they, go? how'd they go on the weekend? Uh, as a whole, <laughs> probably not so well, but there was one standout. Oh, yeah. Um, and I know you know this guy, uh, Nick Martin. Oh, Nick glad Martin. You, Nick. Glad you brought it up. Yes, glad you brought it up. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Unreal, Nick Martin. Um, no, but... Uh, yeah, so sorry. so happy with that. That was oh, so good. That's massive. So anyone that's been living a under jet. an AFL rock, uh, Nick Martin, he was 
I trained him in the off-season. We did like six or eight weeks worth yep. of training. Uh, he got asked by Essendon to come and be like a train-through player. So they give him like a three-month contract, whatever, come along and train to sort of like try out. They had like two yep. spots yep. Uh, for and three guys were trying out for it. So it was just fight to the death to, you know, get the, to well, get the spots. Well, and one of the spots, Gavin Wanganin's son got. Oh, so, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, he yeah. was up against the wall from the get-go. Yeah, so um, he he went over there. We did some training. He went over there. He got a contract like three weeks ago, which I was so... Massive. St- I was massive, massive anyway. You're tagging me and stuff. I'm going, oh, yeah, yes. we're going off. We're yeah, excited. Yeah, you're obviously all over the Essendon socials oh, at yeah, all times. Yeah. Literally, so I, was, I, was hearing yeah. it, I was hearing it first from you. You're like, great. And I was like, oh, so happy when we called him up. Well done, mate. Congratulations, Stoke. And that was obviously the goal just to get, just to get on the list. Turns out he's going to debut round one. Which You're playing was last round week. one, uh, and he doesn't just debut. Wait, round one, he comes in and dominates round one. He, goes, <laughs> he did dominate Kick five uh, goals. Did. It's just twenty-seven touches, sub- like oh. in a side that got spanked. Um, he was, you know what? You take away something good from every loss, and that is. You just take him away. Oh, like he, he was, he's massive, influential, almost exactly. And it wasn't like yeah, because you guys, you know, you got fucking spanked he was yeah, playing like half forward it wasn't like the ball was down the heaps that there was so much opportunity no he for. did have to work for him he too, had to yeah. work for it and it was literally it probably went in there the five times that he was in the 50 made it happen he made it happen, made it so happen. So <laughs> very calm collected his skills were on point he just it was just the perfect what about debut his fitness? game how's his fitness Fit, yeah well he didn't look like he was puffing so oh uh, yeah you know that's obviously <laughs> up here, but um, yeah, he's unreal. What a jet! He's going to be a superstar. So, yeah. so rising happy star, for him. On rising the star. Like, as just well. give him the medal. Just give me two rising stars. Because we can hang it right behind guys us. that I've trained yeah. in two years. Yeah, Could you literally imagine just right. Yeah. Luke Jackson one here and a Nick. Well, Martin Luke Jackson here. probably doesn't even display his because he's got a premiership one. So yeah, exactly. Get it out the sock drawer, Luke. Send it to <laughs> us. We'll put it up here. Thanks, mate. But yeah, so happy uh, for him, and I'll have him on um, the podcast at some point because I'd love to chat to him. Yeah, and show or tell everybody his story his journey yeah because it wasn't always sunshine and rainbows well yeah that's right because he was overlooked in a couple of drafts yep. he went and did the same train through thing with west coast and got knocked back suck at west coast Scum. yeah <laughs> that is literally you were the worst i can't believe you did that you would have beat gold coast by five goals but anyway <laughs> um and um uh, got knocked back and he sort of just kept going and you know still was trying his best keeping persistent his, yeah exactly making the most of the opportunities that he's got all that sort of thing but and i'd love to talk to him about it but it just shows that sometimes if it doesn't quite work out the first time it's keep putting the work and the opportunity will come and maybe if he got picked up when he was 17 or 18 yeah it might not, it have, worked might not have worked out because he's might have not had the same experience because the VFL didn't play last year. He probably wouldn't have played much VFL. Yep, that's right. Who knows if he was going to be on the list again this year. All this sort of stuff. So it's just so funny how things just fall into place. That's right. And I'm such a big believer. You would know. It's on my fingers. Trusting the process. <laughs> Show everyone. <laughs> You've it got some shush. fucking shocker tats. Also, body magic. Body magic I'm on not, the index finger. I'm not getting potty magic on the other <laughs> one because body magic's or good maybe enough. maybe you'll have to. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe. I think that's actually a thing. Yeah, we'll great see. content on the yeah, fly. Yeah, we should just get a, a tattooist here, yeah. and if we can get one here, there's a ta- <laughs> if there's a tattooist out there um, that's willing to come on and and tattoo, it'll be Jared's first tattoo. He'll have to get it. I'm Sorry, Richard. T- I'm not getting a tattoo. Um, potty magic, huge. Let's do it. <laughs> you got some bad tats, eh? Finger tats. No, they're good. Body magic's a good one. That is a good one. But it does. It says shush. Trust the process. <laughs> Two separate ones. But yeah, trust the process. I think that's, you know, it's obviously not a nice feeling. He's got knocked back. Um, but who is that at the door? What special guest have you what got for special? us, Jared? I, don't, I think it might be the cleaner. Hang on. Oh, beautiful just, Mandy. <laughs> let me just go. Sort of <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, everybody. Oh my at home. god. It was just Chris Hemsworth. He got his interview day wrong. Yeah. I just told him to come back tomorrow. So. Yeah, so he's on the first jet out of here today. No, it's actually so. my angry, angry sister. Because yeah. <laughs> Look, I'd be filthy out. if you locked me outside <laughs> too. Out but house. anyway, <laughs> you know, some things you like got to do. Like I was saying, Nick Martin, absolutely great story. Can't yep. wait to have him on. Wish him all the best for the rest of the year and hope he dominates for uh, Yeah, for 100%. SNM. Yep. So you're an Essendon supporter. I'm a dog supporter. Yep. Um, I go, well... The Dockers are a little bit up and down sometimes. But I but know the feeling, yeah. It's our year. It's building. The boys are building. They're building. It's Flag mantle's on its way. It's building. Mm. It's, I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. But um, 
I also don't just go for Fremantle. I go for the Perth Wildcats. Yes, which is of the, course. Like the basketball yep. team here in Perth. And the Perth Wildcats are exceptionally good. And Not to get confused with the High School Musical Wildcats. This different is, Wildcats. I do like them as well, but the Perth Wildcats. Different one. Yeah, the better ones. They yeah. are quite good. Yeah, they yeah, are very good. Not as much Troy Bolton. But no, Bryce Cotton. More Bryce Cotton. Oh, Damien Martin. Oh, don't Bring him back. Greg Hart. Oh, oh, stop. Would be a good guest. Oh, my God. <laughs> but anyway, oh. I go for the Wildcats as well. And even if the, the good thing about going for both of them is Fremantle can be, like I said, a little bit unpredictable sometimes. Yeah, they can. Yeah. But the Wildcats, I always know, they're going to do fucking good. Yeah. Every year. They just, they're always there. They hold like the world sport record for like most consecutive years in the finals, like 40 something. What a years. record. Yeah. Great record. That's huge. Right? Yeah. So I always know, at least if. The one's bad. Yeah, exactly. You know. uh, the Wildcats are just going to buffer it up a little bit, which yeah. is always nice. Yeah, so. 100%. Yeah, so who's like your favourite player at the minute? For... Oh, just in footy? In AFL. Yeah. At, the, at the minute, mm. Nick Martin. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah, good shout. No, nah, just very <laughs> exciting. But oh, you know what? Essendon has a lot of good young stars. Uh, Sam Draper's a, he's one of my favourites. I think Zach Merritt's just a freak as well. But um, no, nah, I really, really will enjoy watching Nick Martin this year. So I'm hoping he gets... A couple send, more games. Send merch. Yeah. And send also, yeah, if you've got anything, Jono. socks, <laughs> one sock, a shoelace that you might have used, just jump us, signed by the whole team. Um, <laughs> send it my way, mate. I appreciate that. But, um, yeah, who's your who's your favourite player of all now time. and then all uh, time? Well, any know. of the guys that I train now. Can't split them. Can't split them. Yeah, okay. Can't. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, fair, That's probably fair. That's a Yeah, that's good. Of all time, Matthew Pavlich. I've had his poster hanging up over my bed. It's a real yeah. shitty ass one. It's yep. like flicking off like the the board that it's not, it's not even a good one. So so, I was about six well, years old. <laughs> I think more for me, favorite ever is Matthew Lloyd. But same thing, got posters mm. of him. Compare the two. Pav in the every in day. the comments, who is the better footballer? If you had to pick, Pav. And oh, I don't think you can say that. Yes, there is no way every day of the week that Matthew Pavlich was a better footballer. Carried. Ca- He's, he's Mate, won. it's very he's easy been, to carry a terrible side. He's been in pew, all Australian backline, midfield, and forward line. Mate, the What's all Lloyd Australian. Done? You What's know Lloyd what? to do? One trick, sit in the, sit Ask in the Brad square. Ask Brad Saw what Matthew Lloyd's done, sit, mate. Sit in the square and bump, absolutely mince people. What, mate, what else are you doing? Velvet sledgehammer. <laughs> Velvet sledgehammer. He Now, nah, Matthew Lloyd for me is just... The grass, the tucked in, looked the part. He's ju- and remember, he's just um, so funny. If you have you seen him on Sunday Footy Show? Stitches, have hilarious. You, do you remember the time we went to the AFLW game? Oh, Frank, that so was we got invited yeah, by fantastic. Frio. Well, you got invited. Yeah, have and, and I, just, I just went. Came with. Yeah, and we um, we were sitting up there in like the little the VIP, VIP section. section. We had the drinks. No big deal. It was, no yeah. big deal. VIP it was good. Whatever. No big deal. No. And we're there. We're hanging about there, and then I see like down. The VIP mm-hmm. box. Who it's was it? Matty Pavley. Oh, unheard of. <laughs> okay. Unheard of. And I've got, and I was a few beers. Like, we had a few. We had a couple. We had a few. And I was going, I couldn't go speak to him. I was so No, Jared, you could talk to everyone. A random on the street. Just everyone. Jared's just, That's yep. not even the first time I met him. So the first time I, well, not met him, but like seen him out in public. It was this, I went on a first date. This is years ago. Uh, to Perth Zoo. Yep. And went, uh, we were in like the, the monkey section of Pursuit, yep. which is like quite like a small little narrow path mm-hmm. that's going around. Many deja vu. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> and, and, and I'm there like, you know, putting on the, you know, the corporate yeah, show. Talking it's it up, day, yeah. talking it up, right. We get in. And I see this fucking really, really tall guy that's like next to me with a pram and he's with his wife. Like, fucking hell, this guy was tall. Massive. Anyway, and I'm like going on in, doing the whole thing. Sandalands. Oh, yeah. Like chatting. And, um, and then I turn around just as we're leaving the exhibit. And, uh, Smitty and it's like Tuesday on at like eleven a.m. There's no you were flat one, out. Uh, flat you were out flat out. The time. Yeah. Work was flat out at yeah, the time. Can imagine. Uh, and I was going, oh my god, it's Matthew Pavlich. And then you I say hello. No, I, I didn't say. Didn't. No, no, I was just trying to process it to start off with. The bloke's been hanging over my bed since I was six years old. I'm just walking up. You've and dreamt saying, about that moment. Oh, I sure have. And absolutely. It, mm. And then and I've gone, and then we've gone and we're sort of like making our way to the next thing, mm-hmm. sort of simultaneously. And I'm saying to the girl and I'm like, that is, she's like, no, it's fucking Matthew Pavlich. And that was the deal breaker because I don't think you saw that girl again after that. Don't think so, no. No, that's exactly I was right, like, yeah. Oh my God, man. And I, c- I just couldn't speak to him. So I missed my opportunity in the monkey section like of years Perth later. Zoo. Years later, managed to go down, waffle a couple of words together, get a Dribbled. quick selfie. Yeah. Um, in the in the, in the the Fremantle uh, VIP. VIP box. Yeah. Put it up on it, tagged him on Insta. Uh, didn't Did he even see get, it? 
he seen it, didn't even like the thing. Oh, back. really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a bit yeah, harsh. Yeah, but maybe, does, maybe he doesn't know about that feature, maybe. Mm. I don't know how much he uses the gram. So. Be better. <laughs> Be better, Pav. Oh, Actually, one other one. So this was when I first... Uh, so, like, my first, I guess, like, uh, football player that I trained mm-hmm. was Xavier Ellis as part oh, of Oh, big save. There right. he is, yep. Uh, was part of 92. And we did this, like, little challenge thing. I had to get down to, like, 92.9 kilos. Yep. And I was trying to, from that, launch myself, trampoline yep. myself mm-hmm. into a bit more of that sort of world of training. Yep. Um, af- athlete people, AFL people, whatever. Would you use Xavier Ellis an athletic person in the same sentence? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Can... Smash more beers than anybody else. That, yeah. <laughs> huge, huge. <laughs> weapon in the gym. Yeah. Absolute weapon. Anyway. Uh, and and I thought, all right, I'm trying to build my stock up a little bit after mm-hmm. that. And I've got a little bit of, you know, yep. behind me now from just doing all the work with Zaves. And I thought, all right, this is my in. And mm-hmm. I'm just going to message a few people, right? Yeah. This is like four years ago or something. Do you know who, I, do you know who was first oh. on the list? Because he just sort of semi-retired. And I've gone, all right, my market is... Just recently retired That might not be doing a whole heap yep. Maybe he's put on a few oh, Maybe no. he might need my help So I've gone I'll have to see if I've got the message to I'll have to see I'll have to yep. do and screenshot it And I'll put it on the clip or something um, But I've uh, I've messaged um, uh, Matthew Pavlidge Being oh, like no. So hey mate I've just done some work with Sammy Ellis I'm PT If you're looking to do anything No reply on his seen? stuff uh, It was seen No reply I'm pretty oh. sure And then I thought You know what Double it down Email it So he had an email there oh. Emailed and went, sweet. Hey, Matty, uh, have you had the same thing? I got a reply. He replied back. It was Automated like, message. Hey, mate. Um, yeah, no, nah, not really. Just didn't. I went, damn. And I, oh, that really yeah, hit that's, right in here. And you know what? They do say <laughs> that. that. Right don't, don't meet your heroes. Oh, yeah. You know what? Anyway. Um, but to be fair, I met Matthew Lloyd at the airport when I was about 10. Yeah. Um, and he signed my jersey. Oh, wow. Um, didn't really say anything, but that was the first time. Um, but very pleasant. That's nice. He that smelled nice. really good. Oh. It was, yeah. Matthew Lloyd, he's champion. Better than Pav. And smells good. <laughs> Unheard of. It smells like velvet. <laughs> it does. Soft. We're going to have to get a better intro for it, but we've got, uh, between the two of us, we've got a plethora of Noel stories. Oh, my God. Yep. So, so whenever, uh, so I've been a support worker for Noel for three or four years or something yep. like that. Been a while and, now. And coach the footy team and that sort of thing. And Jono is often brought in for some fun catch ups days yep. the birth you come to the birthdays just to yep. hang out whatever he's a big fan of Jono and we do lots of fun stuff we together do, with yeah. Noel right and you're very good with him uh, and um, we've got uh, so many stories right there's the, I could I could just do purely a podcast just on Noel yeah on 100%. Noel stories but we'll you know and if we'll this just doesn't go out. well the segments we might just drift into that but yeah we'll just, so we'll, we'll just see how we go. we'll just sort of you know put a few through so the one that came to mind was probably the first time that um, I guess you've seen Noel on a bad day. Oh yeah, yeah. So we took him. So when it, it's it's funny with Noel, he's a bit of like it's literally a flip of a coin. Yeah, you never know if you got him you never on a know. good day or box a of bad chocolates. day. Yeah. It's a box of chocolates. So. Yep. And it can just be something that's just happened in the day. So, like, the morning, his hair hasn't been done quite or he's run out of the product or yeah. the shower Shoes was, are tied wrong. Whatever something. it is, right? There's all these little things that he has to have done all mm-hmm. throughout he's the day. He's a perfectionist. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, part of his sort of, like, OCD yeah. tendencies. Yeah. And obviously, if one part of that's wrong, oh, that really, you know, just... Irks him. Oh, like, just literally spins his brain. I couldn't yep. even imagine how that feels. It would be awful, like, if yeah, you're so 100%. fixated on yep. something like that. For sure. So, for, sure. for whatever reason, I don't know what it was, we've... And it's always... He always has bad days when we've got something cool planned. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, if I've gone... If I'm hanging out with him to go play hide and seek, best day ever. Yep. Nothing ever goes wrong. Yeah. Well behaved. If I'm taking him to go do something or I paid something to mm-hmm. go do or I've teed something up, whatever, he's always in the worst Nightmare. fucking mood. <laughs> He it's just always, hates it. Hates every it. Every time. And, and I just go, I'm doing this for you. Yeah, want, come on, I mate. I want to strangle him sometimes. Anyway, so we um we had, uh, we thought we'd take him up to Aqua. Yep. I'm right into, well, that's how we both actually met, was working at a pet shop and in the yeah. in the fish section. Yeah, so we just were both into that. Yeah. We'll take him up to Aqua. It's a big trip from picking him up oh, in Mount it Pleasant is, all the way a, up there. Yeah, it's, a it's a mile trip. away. Yeah. It's an absolute mile. Very north. It's fun. Yeah, we probably won't be doing that anymore. Fuel prices are a oh, joke. But anyway, seriously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you're better off just to get a helicopter just to drop you straight <laughs> into it. Might as well, yeah. Literally. And we thought, all right, we'll take him up. So we picked him up. And for whatever reason, he was in the worst mood Hated that day. it. Hated oh, it. And we thought, we're going to take him up. We're going to make this cool video. Yeah. 
look at us having fun, whatever. Because yeah. we do have a lot of fun with him. <laughs> he just was not playing ball. He was just not playing ball from the start. So <laughs> What a day. Oh, I just we made something this, that's massive. We might have to put a link to the video uh, oh, of yeah. us doing it. Because in the video, it does look like we're having a good time. But we try to always give him, even if it's a bad day, a really good edit. Of yeah, like, we need yeah, six seconds of fun because yeah. you get six hours of just no good no yeah, good right no. so um, everything yeah so we taken him up there on the drive there he was like arms crossed like no, he wouldn't get it. into it if we, we didn't have queen even, playing wouldn't even wouldn't even get into no, queen he didn't didn't like it um but yeah he was just a bit of attitude he was just off right yeah, he, he was, was off, off. Yeah. yeah we get up there and we're walking around we're trying to get him into oh yeah look at no look at the sharks and this and that yeah, like, we're yeah, just trying yeah. to we're trying to salvage Get him in a better mood. Yeah, yeah. And but it's just not working. And, nah. he's, and he gets really fixated on uh, food big time. Oh, yeah. So the yep. big thing, like literally, the second that I pick him up, he's going, what's for lunch? Like that, That's the first thing he has yeah, to he know. Loves lunch. He's so He's very like food uh, orientated yeah. for his whole day and, you know, peace of mind, I guess, whatever. Yeah. He just needs he needs his subway, he needs his but whatever. Yeah, he always tries to push the boundary of what he's yes. allowed to have. Well, yes, yeah. that's right. Because he's, yes. he's a small man with a massive like an uncontrollable yes, appetite. Because Joan's pretty strict, and she goes, Jared, you, you know, yeah, so oh, no, have, I try. Don't have this. Yep, yep, yep. No, we try, but then yep. you know, if we're going on a day out somewhere, cool, yeah, we go. Yep. All right, fine, you can have. We the can treat burger you if, or if the you behave. Yeah, if you're good, yes. like, it, well, no, not even that we do that, but it's just more like, all right, when you're going out for a big day, you're gonna have. Yeah, you you gotta make a day, day out. We're yeah. having a day out. Right? Yeah, we're not we're not having lunch at home. So we uh, we gone up to Aqua. He's having the shittest time. We're trying to get him going. We're like, oh, nothing's working. He's in the foulest mood, he and we're getting looks fair. from everyone because he is like, just he's being so a menace. Rude. He is, yeah, he, <laughs> and rude doesn't even come oh, close oh almost because it was God, like was next so level rude. Where it was, it was, it was like secondhand embarrassment because I was like. I'm going to have to walk five metres in front. Oh, it was, we're going to get it kicked was on out. A, it was on an absolute like rampage. rampage was, right? yeah. Anyway, so we're like, fuck, how do we get him feeling a bit better? All right, well. You know what, food, it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. Maybe he just needs some food. Maybe yep. some food. We go, all right, hey, no, let's go get a burger and chips. Yep. Come on, let's go. We're getting real up. Come on, let's go. We get him that. So we walk in the lime, give him the burger and the chips. We, I think we all got one. Sat on the table, and we're us three there, and we're eating it. And he's in silence. He's sort of semi coming around, right? Yeah, he's, he's just starting around. to come around. The food, and we're going, the food's oh, got right, him. All right, yeah. we've got him good. We're on a winner here. It's going well. And then I've uh, I've eaten my burger, which came with chips, and I think don't you, like chips. Yeah, yeah. Well, I really had a few. Them. I had a few. Yeah. There was you know lots there. Watching the figure, you know. Yeah, of course. Not yeah. on a Monday at you know lunchtime. No, Who the fuck is eating chips yeah. on a Monday lunchtime? Correct. That's, not what, you, that's what you, not what you need. And we're sitting at the table. Eat the burger. He eats all his stuff. We're sitting there. All right, mate, let's go. I've got all these chips left over on my plate. Yeah, this was a recipe for disaster, really. And after being, he's come around in a good mood. Mm. (laughs) All right, sweet, great. We're salvaged today. All right, mate, let's go go check out some more tanks. But what's he he done? He's gone. He goes, "Mm, are you going to eat the chips? And I said, no, 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 I'm all good. He goes, can I eat the chips? And I went, no, nah, mate, you've already had your chips. Cause like and it I was said, a big serving, too. Big serving. It wasn't so like there was already a had, little yeah. bit of chips. Yeah, there was a lot, yeah. He already had, because he had his burger, he yep. had his chips, and again, he's got, he, there's literally no, fil- there's no stop on his appetite. Like no, he it's can, go, he, go, I've go. literally quite literally seen him eat until he's thrown up. Like, he just, there's no, there's no, what fil- a man. There's, no there's no stop, right? And he's going, no, no, no. I the chips and said, no, mate, like, that's all done. No, no, no. And he's going... And he tried this big tantrum at the table after we were just so close for getting in. We were so close and <sighs> I've gone, all right, come on, Noel, like, let's go. So me and Jared start walking away. After we said no, no, no more no, chips. No, 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 all good. No, he, no. And no, but the other thing I did is I got my serviette and I like put them on like, oh, oh yeah. dirty chips. Yep. Like they're done, you know yep. what I mean? Like we're put finished. Them, oh, no, they're done. See, they're, they're dirty ones. They're but all finished. Noel has played us. And we're walking, like we're walking up fool. with him. We're walking up with him sort of like with our arms around him. Going, he's sort of trailing back a little bit. All, all Dusty of a Martins, this big push off, runs five tables over back to our table, grabs the chips in his and just smashes them in the restaurant like, of Aqua too. Like yeah. it's a nice joint. You yeah. can't do that. No, and we're and I'm running back to him, going no, and like oh, out of context, mate. out of context. If someone just looking at us, of <laughs> no, just going and have some. Oh more yeah, chips. and we're you tackling go, him to the floor. You terrible person. I'm yeah. going, no, you don't. You can't no. have it. But <laughs> Back story. He's not. He's, he's, not, he's <laughs> had all his food. We've said no. He's gone, yep, all right, no worries. You've said no. Walked with us and then went, nah, you know what? Not Legged letting these cheeps go to work. And just shoved them in his mouth. Oh. And that was, that was the turning point because I've never seen <laughs> that kind of 
stuff from Noel. So we walked outside and Jared's like, nah, Noel, stand here. I'm calling your mum. He's like, no, 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 no. Nah, that's the, that's the card if you if you really yep. want to like, you know, pull We're getting pull on the up. phone. Pull and I've I'll got a video of it somewhere. Is just Jared on the phone going, yeah, no, you cannot do this to me. And then Noel's on the phone. And kind of as we're getting closer to home, he starts coming good and we're going, oh. Like it's always, it's always, it's always he does yeah. this. You pick him up, bad mood. You take him out, bad mood. You take him home, and you're really pissed. And you're like, I'm telling your mum to give you a serve or something. Yeah, literally. Because you've been in such a no. bad, bad mood. And then all of a sudden, he's like, Come oh, on, great day. Yeah, last oh, five yeah, minutes. And you're like, always unreal. What are you doing oh, to us? Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, great guy, Noel. Love oh, him. Oh, but that was that was one of the old time uh, ones that I. That's probably the most angry I've ever been at him. To be perfectly honest. Uh, yeah, I was quite <laughs> filthy about it too. Yeah, to be honest. Oh, but, but he's funny. You know what? Do you remember though? This I I know you, I just remembered it then. Uh, we went down outside near the restaurant. We went down to the big viewing tank, like oh, the yeah. outside bit. Oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and there, there's like a like a father and his tiny little son um, and we've gone, oh, sorry, mate, can you just take a photo um, of us with Noel in front of this tank? Um, and his son, who would have been, what, three? Mm. Like three or four, maybe? He was tiny. He's just also sat at the window, just looking at the Yeah, window. just looking at the fish and we sit down to have a photo and the dad just goes, oh, I bet you get out of the photo! <laughs> and the kid just, oh, my God, just all of a sudden just... Oh, Launches terrified. Out the photo. Oh, yeah. Smile, Take, guys. Takes the photos <laughs> and goes, oh, there you go. No dramas. Thanks. Have a good day. And we're like, oh, dear oh, my God. Lord. That Poor. kid's traumatised. Poor like, little Petchy. Yeah, Petchy. <laughs> Strange name. But anyway. Anyway, that is, uh, that's our first story. No, there's many more to come. There's there. many <laughs> more, yeah. So there's this Hit war it. that I have been fighting for the last like year and a half, right? Yes, yes, yes. And it is to do with my... Lovely girlfriend, Beck, that I love. Emphasis on the lovely girlfriend. Exactly. I love oh so dearly. Favourite person. Yep. Equal with you. Thank you very much. There we go. Saved it. And uh, and I get sent this meme. I I, I will document this. Yeah. It's often on my Insta story. She leaves teacups with the tea bag. Yeah, she does do that. Still in it. Yeah. Fucking everywhere. Yeah. Fucking everywhere. I'm talking like, uh, it's not unusual to go in my room and see three of them. Like and mm. they're like and they're this much tea left in there. The bag is in there. It's like, what's it called with the Egyptians? Yeah, mummified. Mu- it's, it's like mummified. It's furry. It's creating its, got, its own ecosystem. It's quite literally quite biodiverse in that cup, right? <laughs> it is absolutely revolting. Terrarium. Oh it really god! Is. It's, seriously, we could sell them as terrariums. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, Yuck. We just go down one of those little Frio market stores and just start selling them. There's we probably could do, some yeah. really cool little cultures of. Things I think we could sell them. So anyway, so I've been fighting this battle with them. And how it kind of started, why I started putting that on my story, and I've got a big response, and I get sent that meme all mm. the time with the, the walk of shame thing, like all the time. Can you yep. please stop sending it? I've seen it, everybody. Thank yes. you very much. Yes. And how it started, why it started, why I put it up there, was because all right, I needed. I asked her, Pet, can you stop doing this? Yeah, I hate <laughs> and it. Like, stop it, please. Like, oh yeah, she was sorry about that. And then did fifteen it. teacups, the same did day. It. Like, did, it, did it stop? Did it stop? And I went. All right, how can I be a bit creative about this to try to get it to stop? We need to do some sort of public, public shunning. Public stoning. Yeah, literally. Bank. A public shunning of the teacup fucking behaviour, <laughs> oh, right? Because no. this needs to stop. So what I started doing is posting it on my story. And, she you know, hated it? With, with like, yeah, music and like, yeah. on me being angry or whatever. And she fucking hated yeah, it. Yeah, right? I can imagine, so, yeah. And I was doing it pretty, free, pretty frequently. And to be fair, it sort of brought it back a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought the public shame of it, because she was like, oh, no, don't show that. Yeah, she like, she'd get pretty pissed. But that would make it stop. But it hasn't fucking stopped. No. It's just a constant battle. I can't win. I don't know what to do. If anyone's got any suggestions as to what but to also, do. But also, just a suggestion for Beck, just don't leave them there. Oh, like, it, it seems so simple. And if you have, look, if you have a tea at night and you want to leave it there just while you're asleep, that's fine. But when you leave, just pick it up and... Take it out. Yeah. Anyway, it just, just doesn't seem that it's, hard. It's, and it, it, well, it's really not. But so many people out there can relate to exactly yeah, yeah. what I'm talking about. And they go, my girlfriend, my partner, or my boyfriend, whatever, does that. Yeah. And I go, oh, it's just, it's stop it. Teacup leaving people, especially when you leave the bag in it with this much and you oh. want to create a biodiverse ecosystem in there, stop it. It's yeah, disgusting. It's so, Beck, mm. I love you oh so dearly, but fucking stop Cut it, it out. Cut it out. But... 
Just thought, is there anything that Jazz does? So Jono's got a lovely girlfriend, lovely Princess girlfriend, Jasmine. Princess Jasmine, yeah. Shout out, Jazz. Shout um, out, Jazz. She'd be loving to get a oh, mention. She's probably waiting the oh whole Oh, my God. She'd be sharing this, this part yeah, oh on her God, social. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She'd be going like, oh, anyway. we're so happy we can uh, make that happen <laughs> for you, Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> we'll um we'll get this printed on like a vinyl and we'll sign it for yeah. you. First episode, you can Done. have that. Um, was there anything that Jazz does that's like my losing battle? My pet peeve is the fucking uh, teacons. This obviously, is, and well, my it is a losing battle because I don't think I'm ever going to be able to win. But yeah, you did it got me thinking because in in retrospect, she is really good with all that sort of stuff. But there's just one thing that I have noticed, and it's I'm a hot sleeper, mm. so I have you to sleep have sleep naked. Tony Stark, yeah, <laughs> unreal. Have every to, night, every, every night. Every night without fail. It could be three degrees, I'm Stark. Just like. need more breathable space in the bed. Yep. Yep. It barely touches the bed, but <laughs> you know what? I need, I'm just, it's just comfortable. Like, I just like it. I don't like being restricted. Um, but I'm very hot, so like, middle of winter, the fan's on. Like, it's hooking. Like, it's like really an, going. Like an aeroplane from the yep. 1950s. Just yeah, it's going. working Even if it's over like time. <laughs> yeah, literally, it has to be on. Yeah. I don't care. I'll deal with the noise. Can't deal with being hot. Jazz I'm the is, same. Jazz I'm level six every night of the year. Yeah, six is, you need it. Mm. If, I want to feel the breeze on me. Oh, yeah. It's not just a bit of razzle dazzle. Oh, you're preaching to the converted here, I understand. Yeah, literally, yeah. Um, but Jazz is the opposite. She is just freezing all the time. 40 degrees outside. Oh, God, put a jumper on. Beck's the same. She, yeah, has to, she, like, right, she sleeps with heaps of layers I wonder if that's on. like a gender thing. I think it is. I think it's because like mm. just in general, males have more muscle mass. Yeah, human bio. Yeah, have Something more like that muscle anyway. mass and muscles create heat. Yeah, right. Well, there you go. Mm. Well, sorry, Jazz, but sort it out still. <laughs> um, but what? Please change your biology <laughs> just for Jono. Just, just so I can have a nice well, night's sleep. It's... <laughs> I'm hot, she's cold, I get it. She, the socks, the trackies, it's like the a jumper. Person, I guess. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. she's wrapped up. Um, but I'm just hot all the time. And it's just, oh, can you turn the fan off? I'm freezing. Mm, I don't think so. Because mm. when you're hot, there's nothing you can do to make yourself less hot. When you're cold, put more trackies on. Put another jumper on. Yeah. Not asking you to just... But you I know. like if it's freezing oh. and, and then you can rug up. So that's yeah, actually nice fantastic. the other way around. Because so if you're hot and you're just hot, then it's just uncomfortable. Yeah. It's harder to sleep. But yep. if you're freezing, it's just she must turn the fan off. I feel guilty if I leave the fan. Oh, do we have to have the I'm freezing. And it's like, <laughs> all right, well, I'll, t- I'll take the loss and get no sleep and sweat and <laughs> you can have the perfect <laughs> night's sleep. So pretty much from this convo, uh, Beck, stop leaving your teacups and Jazz, change your biology. Jazz, please. and <laughs> I am an electrician. I'll just wire the fan in without the switch so it's just on all the time <laughs> if you keep turning it off. <laughs> but no, that, in retros- they're both great. They're both great. Very just, good. We love them also. We love you, Beck. Love you, Jazz. Just, just well, you love Jazz. Yes, love absolutely. Beck. Not the other way around. No. But, um, <laughs> yeah, please just sort that out. Thanks. <laughs> what do you got for us? So, I'm um, all over social media stuff. Yes, well, you I'm are. Sorry, that sounded bad. I am often on lots of social media stuff, looking at various but videos. But he's flat out with his job. So, <laughs> yeah. Mate, you don't anyway. know how hard my life is. You know? <laughs> anyway, what do you got? Never work a day in your life if you're doing something you enjoy. That's what they say. But we have a look at all these different, um, all these, you know, videos. And people send them to me as well. Because I do those like imitation video ones. You've helped me with lots yep. of starting a few of them as well. Yep. And, you know. I'll never been paid. Never, not once. Nor have I. I've never been paid for any of those either. The second that any payment comes through from any of those. Bumble? Things, come on through. Done. From Bumble? Yeah. Yeah, I did do one for Bumble. And actually. you got paid? Um, yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. I didn't see any of it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Anyway, so I, I'll set this one. And it's of a, um, a weight loss tip. Mm. Advice, yeah, from uh, this bloke on TikTok. Yep. Um, we'll we'll get the video up for anyone that's watching the yep. visual we'll version it. of yep. it, and then we'll probably make a little we'll TikTok something as well. Yeah. Play it through there. Go. Yep. King, if you want to lose weight King. and get shredded, here's an that's easy me. tip. Ooh. Next time you get a craving that's going to throw you off your diet, just get a pinch well, of go. salt or chicken powder wow. and put it in your mouth. So a lot of the time you're not actually hungry, you're just sodium deficient. Wait a few so when you're hungry, actually hungry, you're sodium deficient. And but you, when you're hungry. You're not actually hungry. You That's unreal. That. Like that is actually unreal. Because here I am for the last 25 years singing. If I'm hungry, I probably need to eat food. But this so guy reckons to look and get the body of your dreams. All you need to do is, when you're hungry, 
you're not actually hungry. Just you have just some need, salt. Just have some fucking chicken so salt. So if you eat all the calories for your day at breakfast, just have a pinch of salt or chicken powder. So I wonder if it's what about chicken salt? Well, but you know what? Like he is it chicken powder? He said, "Yeah." Oh. What the hell is that? Chicken's ground up into a powder form. Interesting. Mm. Wow. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> um, he's got no fat on him, so he oh, must be yeah. doing something. Like like just when you when you start the TikTok video of. <laughs> King, so king. Qu- so queens <laughs> don't try it. It's only for kings. <laughs> only kings. Um, that's a very niche market. That is a very niche market. How, many how kings? misogynistic? Oh no! But just how many kings are there in the world? I don't reckon there's very many. No, well, there's that one that emails me from Nigeria all the time. <laughs> and he wants to transfer money into my account. So <laughs> him, no, I might ask prince. him. That's oh, the prince. prince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soon to be. Soon to yeah, be. But well, mm, he's anyway. done. He's done. Yeah, Would he's got it all. But yeah. you know what? Like. We don't know if it actually does work. I don't know. We have to try it. You got any? Yeah, we'll have to maybe do that. Yeah, anyway, let's do it. And, but everybody out there, when you thought you were hungry, you're, you're not, not actually hungry. You just, you need, just need a pink a pinch. A pink. <laughs> a pinch of chicken salt. <laughs> Bing. This is a topic that... Um, this is something mm. that affects both of us. Yeah, it does, yeah. And yep. it's very unfortunate. We've got absolutely no control over the matter. No, we don't. And you know what? It's I yeah, blame it my dad. Issue. I blame my dad. Oh, uh, absolutely. Thanks. So my what, dad we're, as well, yeah. what we're talking about is me and John I have some receding hairlines, <laughs> right? And, and they've they've like just they started to go about the same time. Yeah. Right? So yeah. Um, I have a hat well, on take, for a reason. Take your hat off, just to no, just no, like no, well, just uh, just so I can see. Let me just fucking. I'll show you after. I've oh, I got it. some photos on my phone. Just show there. me. Just do it. Just do it. Go on. Not happening. Oh, <laughs> well, we just need to see. Otherwise, how do we know that you... Because, yeah, well, you can't see it. We're a safe, it's a safe place. We're it's trying. A place. It's a okay. safe place. We just I kind of got to... Yeah, so... Tuck it over. A bit. Yeah. So... But anyway, just show us the... You can just kind of, you know, it's... It's, yeah, it's starting to look big. a little bit like a McDonald's M. It's just... Oh, no, it's... Like it's if yeah. a Macca's M was on steroids and yeah. chicken salt... Then I'll take, so absolutely. mine's like mine up the side bit there. Yeah, that's that where mine's going. Where but to like be fair, that's actually not a... No, that's... You know what? That's no, nowhere so near as bad as If you look at photos of me from uh, not even that long ago, well, maybe a year ago, it's a centimetre down here. Like, it's, that is going at the rate of, like, the... the what's Nick it Martin getting possessions. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, huge. <laughs> no, but, like, that's going at the rate of, like, the ice melting in Antarctica. It's, like, you know, a few centimetres. Yeah. And, you know, it's just going, right? And eventually, it doesn't take many more years. That'll be gone. There's not that many more centimetres left in that. So. Nah, and then what? Well, that's right. So I completely blame my dad. And the thing with my... I don't think I particularly look that much like my dad my, in my face. Mm, no. I don't think you'd see and go straight away, you'd know exactly. Because for everyone that doesn't or might not have seen Jared's family, not a bad-looking bloke, but he's the worst-looking in his family <laughs> by an absolute <laughs> mile. Like, by far. <laughs> Good genetics, yeah, strong. Yeah. But anyway, so I don't look that much like my dad, but nah. if the, the things that I inherit from my dad, mm-hmm. if it's not the looks, right, if it's a shit hairline and a bad fucking prostate, <laughs> I'm going to be that fucking pissed, all right? I'm going to be yep. pissed, dad, all right? Yeah. If they're the two things that I've inherited from you, oh, I'm well, not going to be happy. Charming. I don't know what I'm going to do. You've got Richard's charm. I don't know what... <laughs> Richard's charm. He's, he's quite charming, is Richard. <laughs> he is, for sure. But I don't... I'm, I'm pissed. If that's the two things I'm going to inherit from my dad, fuck, I'm angry. I don't know what to do about it, but I'm angry. Well, I've definitely inherited... I've got shocking knees. We all know about my knees. Mm. They're bad. My hairline's going. Um, Keck is also very <laughs> small. So thanks, Dad, yeah, for thanks, that. thanks, Dad. Um, thanks. Just... And it's not a... I know it's from him because my uncle is apparently like... And I'm just like, Dad, like, where... What happened there? Because now I'm... What's the word? It's not gifted. Um, This is gifted. (laughs) It is not... Like, I am misfortuned, I guess you could say. Misfortuned, right. So you just... You think that the good genetics skip one generation? Must have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must have. Anyway, Yeah, no good. But we're... um, you know what? Um, embrace it. Just well, that's the whole thing, right? So I've tried that. What's it called? The regain stuff. Yeah, but you didn't really try it. No, I, I did give it. I've given it. But there's probably three separate occasions where I've given it a go. The first time I gave it a proper go, it was like eight weeks worth. Nothing fucking happened. It actually was burning my. Yeah, I have heard that. It was mm. really burning. Yeah. And like not in a fun way. It was just like 
not mm. good. And then I tried it again, same thing, tried it again, and then just was like, fucking just embrace it. If it's going to go bold, it's going to happen, isn't it? Yeah. But I think we'll just go to, we haven't, we've never actually taken a holiday together ever. No, but I, I have heard like return flights to Turkey, Turkey are actually very cheap. Yeah. And everybody just And has, if you take a hot air balloon, yeah, it's, it works out cheaper. Literally. And everybody just has those like little hats on the plane ride home because everybody's going over there to get the hair done. Exactly. So, so we we'll I wonder where Sven is. Might yeah. run into Sven. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to go, uh, I think we'll probably just wait until it's the time. I think we'll both know when it's time and we'll just... I think we'll just... We'll just give a nod and we'll know exactly, go, yep. 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 So if there is any um, hair transplant professionals in Turkey... So we'll just flick on over there, we'll get one done when the time is right and we'll come home... Which will probably be in the next three months. With the the cotton side head done up. You know, like the you know the surgical way that they do yeah. that, and you can obviously identify well, have you that ever, there's somebody that has had a head transplant. Have you ever used the bald filter on Snapchat just to see what you might look like? Yeah, it's so funny. So, so because that's been a thing the last few weeks or mm. whatever. Like you've seen yep. heaps of people posting that in the story and shit. So funny. The, at first glance, whenever I see it, and I click on someone's story just to go flick through, my friend Joel, you know, yeah, Joel yeah, 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 yeah. My friend Joel, he's bald. Yep, and. Whenever I'm just flicking through, like, you know, you're just there flicking through everywhere's yeah. stories. I know it's not on his story, but I go, Joel? <laughs> I'm sorry. That I'm is... sorry, Joel. I'm sorry, but that is what happens in my mind. It just, when I'm not really, hang on, that's not, ah, but that's it not don't, him. I, ah, I have done it just to him, see what I would potentially, because I've always <laughs> thought, maybe I'll just, short, sure, just shave it, mate. Number four, all over, whatever. No, not a chance. I will, if this fringe is the only thing that keeps growing, I'll just... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm the same. Work, I kind of yeah. just like cover that little, a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's and um, just sort of make do. But with you know what? Oh, it, look, it is what it is. Is what it is. Just embrace the bold. Yeah, just do it. I mean, <laughs> we're all Macca's hair, Macca's M hairlines at the end of the day. Do you know what aren't shits we? me though? When you do see someone that's just got the genetics, that oh. just, they're just perfectly built together like the Powerpuff Girls. They're just like, <laughs> yep, hairline. Look at the jaw on him. Look at the like, just every, and you just go, what? Can't give us a chance, mate. Yeah, like, literally. Hairline, I'll just take that. But anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. Can't help it. Very good. That is episode one, take four. Wow, well, we got there. We if did anyone just opens stagger. the garage right now, I'm going to oh, squeal. We, we have had that many interruptions for it. We've had but the terrible, it's been good. terrible take yesterday. Uh, we, what was that? It's 92.9. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even 92 anymore. It's song. called Triple M. <laughs> Triple M rocks Perth. <laughs> Uh, and um, anyway, we had a lot of interruptions. We had the garage door up. We had the dogs. We had the we dogs had parking. Oh my god, we, we had, had an angry sister. We had my mum coming in, oh putting the door god, up. It yeah. was just been. We lost the whole episode on the computer just before. But <sighs> anyway, it was good fun. It was good fun. Uh, we'll think of some other good segments. Keen to hear what everybody yes, thinks. Absolutely. Uh, I've got some cool special guests coming on. I've got one tomorrow that I'll be filming, and I'll probably put it out a week after that. Yep. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be wicked. I can't wait. It's to, gonna be um, huge. Thanks for having me. Mate, Thanks for having no me, problem. mate. Whenever you're back in, we're just gonna be taking over the again. podcast just world. Creators. We've Let's just go. found this little niche in the market because no social media people, uh, no, no it's influencers, very small, yeah, no ex reality TV people. In fact, are even were you on TV? Yeah, one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we almost went a whole show without me bringing it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost loved it. Loved we found it. this little niche in the market yeah. and we're just going to hammer it home before this podcasting stuff really blows up for everyone. So um, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, would love to uh, hear from you. And um, yeah. We'll see you next time. See you next time. We have to work out a little outro thing, something yeah, that we do. say, a little um, couch phrase. What on the spot? Go. Oh no, he's crumbled. Oh no, crumbling. crumbling. Go by Scratchy. <laughs> also sponsor us. Masters. Anyone. Also, gifted apparel. It's coming soon.